on this season of Paternity Matters. Paternity is always taboo, it's something that we don't talk about. But now we are starting to have these conversations and there's a way, I believe, to make things that used to be taboo teachable. You've lived with a question of paternity. It has always been clear that your dad was a one of how many possible fathers? Four. The only time he came is when we was getting high. He didn't acknowledge his child. I don't see this woman for five years now. For some the daddy. I've never met him a day in my life. The man that's on your birth certificate. Yes, I do not know this man. I actually do spoil my kids. We eating filet mignon tonight. You want a new pair of shoes? We get a new pair of shoes. This is normal. Cause Live. you don't want some little boy to come up and be yeah, like, "I'm it's buying like, a new yeah, pair of shoes." Yeah, I'm used to it. My dad been doing that for me. Some men, if they were paid to sleep, they would wake up and quit. Ooh. They have no, 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 and that, and that comes with fatherhood. You said it, not me. They, 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 as men and as black men specifically, nobody, nobody cares about what we go through when it comes to parenting. So it's just, it's um, it's very difficult. My dad. He's one of my best friends, and I couldn't imagine my life without him because he's my hero. I was angry with God. How did the lady end up in the mix? She just slipped on a banana peel and just you landed up so in the mix right up in your marriage? So, so what so happened? Her uh, other baby daddy was going up the steps. Now he's going down the steps. Could have been his back baby. I don't know, because the girl was on, she was getting high. She was on crack, you know, and she was doing her thing with everybody. Whatever happens, Lord, just let me be strong.